At the bottom of the TCP IP stack, we have the network interface layer. And the network interface layer, it corresponds to, it maps to the two bottom layers of the OSI model, specifically the physical layer and the data link layer. Some literature that you might read might refer to the network interface layer as the network access layer, so those terms are synonymous. And if we think about the network interface layer, there's nothing particularly unique about the network interface layer in the TCP IP stack versus the network interface layer in the OSI model. After all, the TCP IP stack, it's concerned with the suite of protocols that fall under the TCP IP umbrella. And IP traffic at the network layer of the OSI model, it can travel over a variety of layer two transports. It can travel over frame relay, it can travel over ATM, it can travel over the point-to-point -point protocol. We can have a variety of physical media over which it travels. It could go over fiber optics, unshielded twisted pair, we could be using a wireless network. The point is there's nothing terribly TCP IP specific about the network interface layer. The same things we learned about the physical and the data link layer under the OSI model, they apply here at the network interface layer of the TCP IP stack.